Hi. Today we will learn how to add notes over a line chart in Power BI. Here we have a line chart about sales, birthday, and I have two notes. And by the way, one of them is written in Arabic and the other note is written in English. So if you have a data over a time and you convert it to any chart, you can add notes using this trick. Let's start. Here we have a new Power BI report and I'm going to import an Excel data. My file is very simple with just two information, date and an amount. I will close this file. I will import direct through the Power BI. I select my data. Then if I need to do any modification to the data, I have to do transform, but for this case, this fine. So now we have one table in my Power BI. The name of the table is the name of the sheet. Of course, I can rename this table to any information, but I'm not going to do so. I'm going to add a line chart. In this line chart, I'm going to add date and amount. Power BI convert my date into year, quarter, month. I don't need any of them. I need my day to be day by day. I cannot see the day name. I I can only see 10 of days, 5, 10, so I need day to be written here, so I'm going to change the X to categorical and make it date of sale. So now I have date. Now I need to add notes, let's say we need to add note at 10 of January. And another note for 20 of February. Just to make a better view, I'm going to add a filter. So I will drag this one down. I add a filter by month. We don't have the month name filter. So I'm going to transfer the data by adding a column from the date with the month name. So now once I close, I will have a calculated column using the data as a source displaying the month's uh, name. So now I can add a filter or a slicer to my table, to my report, based on this filter, based on the month's name. Okay, now let's start creating our note. I will add two measures, three measures actually, one to add the note, one to create the dots, and one to display the value. Measures can live in any table, so I'm going to create new measure in the same table. Uh, in huge report, it's better to have a separate table for all your measure. Uh, I will name this one as notes. And I'm going to use search. To go to a new line, I use Alt, Enter, Switch. Alt, Enter. Switch will take the date, so I will use Max for the date. Date in my table is called Date of Sales. What really Max will return is the same date. If I repeat Max function for each value, I will return the same value. So, based on the date what switch will do switch will check for a value and based on this value display a result so the first value is 10th of january 2021 why i use value because if i type the same information without value Power BI will deal it with uh, as a text, but actually I need Power BI to deal it with as a number or as a date. So we use value to convert the text into a number. In this case, to convert the text into a date. So if you find this value, please type start of mid-year uh, vacation. I can add as many value as I need, so comma, uh, alt enter, one more value. Let's say we will use uh, 
uh, 5th of February. And in, in this date, we have a note that open new branch. And so on. Once I finish all my nodes, I need to add the default one, which is blank. Now I need to close the switch statement. Now if I drag nodes to the same line chart, if I go to 10 of January, I can find, I can read the start of mid-year vacation. In other dates, you cannot find any note. If you go to 5 of February, February 5th, you can read open new branch. But there's no dots here, so I need to add one more measure to represent uh, a mark every time there's a note. So I'm going to add a new measure. Uh, I will call this one as mark here or info or any name. equal I will use if statement if there is any note so I'm going to use len for the measure notes the measure the, note, the measure are created this measure so if there is any note if there is any uh, text in the note please display uh, any number for now we will switch it uh, 100 otherwise plan Uh, I just wanted to make sure notes is a tall tip and a mark here is a second value. Now you can see two dots here. I don't like the 100. Uh, uh, maybe it will be better if I rewrite the total amount one more time. Uh, you cannot use field name in, uh, in this if statement, so I'm going to create a new measure. This measure is the same amount, the same sales, so I can use max for the sales, the uh, total amount. What I'm trying to do, I'm, I'm trying to, to create a measure. This measure carries the same amount from the total amount. So now if I go back to uh, mark here. And instead of this 100, I can use my measure. My measure name is amount. So now I have dot on the exact same point of my amount with the same number with my mark. I don't like this uh, yellow color, so I can go to the uh, format search for data label the uh, data color for mark here i'm going to use uh, red that's it 